Well, the market knew it would not be pretty, but now a new report shows just how much damage the rising dollar inflicted on corporate America. Sarah Eisen has details. From Ford to Facebook to Pfizer, companies across industries are complaining about a stronger dollar cutting into their sales abroad. Now we know just how much it's costing. About $29 billion shaved off the bottom lines of North American companies in the first three months of the year. That's the latest from FireApps, which advises companies on managing their foreign sales exposure. If you add in European companies who got hit hard from the Russian rubles nearly 40% slide in a year, the cost of currency swings for companies is $31 billion. That's 57% more than last quarter and nearly four times more than a year ago. For American multinationals, the main culprit was the euro, falling more than 11% during the quarter. But companies also blamed the yen, ruble, Brazilian real, and British pound for losses. You don't want to focus on those companies where the majority, the vast majority, 80, 90% of their revenues come from overseas. You want to be in a diversified brand name company uh, that can weather the storm because for all intents and purposes, the world is still kind of working through a lot of volatility on the economic front and the best companies in the world are right here in America. Some companies like Coca-Cola do hedge their foreign exposure in the currency market to protect themselves from losses. But that's harder to do with less traded emerging markets currencies like Brazil and Russia whose currencies have plunged dramatically. Other companies like Procter & Gamble and Pepsi have said they're raising prices for consumer items on shelves abroad to help offset the currency losses. There is a silver lining. That is, the euro is actually stronger against the dollar so far this quarter, up 4.5%, which could provide some much-needed relief for American companies that do business in Europe. Longer term, though, Wall Street expects the U.S. dollar to continue to strengthen as the Federal Reserve prepares to raise interest rates. So companies are going to have to get creative and prepare for more pain when it comes to currencies and some of the most brutal swings in history. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Sarah Eisen.